Hello, and a very warm welcome to my channel. This afternoon, we give you a piece of breaking news. Harry borrowed Princess Diana's award to PR for Meghan. Yesterday, Prince Harry apologized for endemic racism after Meghan Markle told him their generation hasn't done enough to right the wrongs of the past as he presented Princess Diana's award on his late mother's 59th birthday. The Duke of Sussex paid tribute to young people working to make a change across the world as he presented a Princess Diana award via a video message. Oh my gosh, using his mother again. How embarrassing is this getting? They apologize that they don't have the world in a better or right place. Who is they? Do they really believe that they are that important to answer for and apologize for us mere mortals? Bringing out the Diana card over and over again is also, and I must apologize, pathetic. It's obvious with his comments that he likens his mother to his wife. Or his wife does. They would have a little more respect if they just shut up and stayed away as they required to do so, urgently. Megan really is a trip, Harry. You picked a winner and she's stringing you along and you foolishly are following her every word and action. She's making a fool of you, Harry. What happened to the carefree Harry who streaked nude in Vegas or had balance being in the military and amongst his comrades? Now look nowadays you mention surf serving no real purpose and bored witless go ahead get away from Megan and take Archie with you and start divorce proceedings, irreconcilable differences that'll work. According to this news, Prince Harry led big names including Dame Emma Thompson, Liam Payne, and Miranda Hart in honoring young changemakers across the world with a coveted award. Speaking on behalf of Prince William and himself from California, where he is currently living with Meghan Markle and Archie, Harry said his mother would have been fighting your corner on what would have been Diana's 59th birthday. Referring to Meghan's speech supporting the Black Lives Matter movement, Harry joined her in apologizing that they hadn't got the world to a place where young people deserve to be. Harry said, My wife said recently that our generation and the ones before us haven't done enough to wipe the wrongs of the past. I too am sorry. Sorry that we haven't got the world to the place where you deserve it to be. Institutional racism has no place in our societies, yet it is still endemic. Ah, I get it. This is Megan designing Harry's new career, selling out Diana at every opportunity. He's a bit lost behind his controlling wife and his wonderfully strong mother. Where is Harry in all this? He had his own personality before. Now it's gone. Selling his mother's memory out of every opportunity at the behest of his wife, who writes his speeches and mentors him on how to present to an audience. Get a grip, Harry. People liked you for yourself. Nobody likes the shadow of a person he has become. Harry had so much more to offer than Diana's legacy and Meghan's greed. He should be making his own legacy. William must be so put up by his continuous reference to his mother. Clearly, he has no humility, yet no reason to be so full of himself the way he is. All he does is deliver one sermon after another, yet there is no real action. Look at the way he had chosen to remove himself from the great unwashed he so often professes to admire. Can't stand him or his patronizing, hypocritical utterances anymore, though. I doubt there's anyone who's fallen so far so fast in the eyes of the British public. Indeed, a watcher also asked, What exactly is he apologizing for, and to whom, and on behalf of whom? He has not been appointed as a spokesman for anyone as far as I know. He certainly does not speak for Britain, which, even despite his apparent ignorance, is probably the most tolerant country on the planet. Yes, we have our faults, but his willingness to take this stance when he is actually living in a country with an appalling record smacks of interference from his spouse or others. 
and Harry's wife doesn't know what she's talking about. For half a century, we have had countless programs to help people overcome the effects of past discrimination, set asides, affirmative action quotas, etc. Trying to make a positive difference, not because we are responsible for events in the past, but because it seemed to be the fair and right thing to do. Now it sounds like Harry's wife thinks all that was a mistake, and yet here she was, a mediocre actress at best, able to have an acting job on a cable TV series for many years, a lot of income for a woman of her age, and that speaks to her former school. The gestures, the tone. Omg, she was fortunate to be an American and have the employment opportunity she had. I will not apologize for the sins of our ancestors, and neither should he. We are not responsible. What we should do is learn from the past, not apologize for it, and make a real effort to stamp it out in here and now. Using Diana every chance he can, he's a disgrace to his country and to the army. To his family, and to keep abusing his mother's death to gain brownie points or to get sympathy and empathy is rather low. Back to yesterday, established in memory of Diana, Princess of Wales, the award is given out by the charity of the same name, and has the support of both her sons, the Duke of Cambridge and the Duke of Sussex, on what would have been Princess Diana's fifty-ninth birthday. The first virtual ceremony for the Diana Award. Took place last afternoon on the Diana Award YouTube channel. The recipients of the award have this year demonstrated their ability to inspire and mobilize their own generation to serve their communities through campaigning, volunteering, fundraising, fighting injustice, or overcoming extreme life challenges. Although their causes and backgrounds are varied, what they all have in common is that they are changing their communities and the world. Meanwhile, many fans also slammed Harry. One said, "I find it offensive that he and his wife are telling us we have to do more to put things right. Well, we have by not repeating the past, and their message is best put before countries other than the UK." Markle understands nothing of our history. She is a typical American who thinks every English-speaking country is the same as theirs. She's also forgetting who was instrumental in abolishing the slave trade. A fan also agrees and said, "He's so offensive. He really doesn't know when to shut his mouth." If this is such a racist country, how is it so many Black, Asian, and minority ethnic people are successful business people, actors, doctors, politicians, soldiers, and so many other careers? Do you idiots ever stop and think it would be a very different story if the oppression was true? In fact, if Harry lived in the real world rather than his liberal bubble, he would know that Britain is one of the most tolerant countries in the world. Another added, "This clown is doing more for the destruction of the RF than any leftist Republican would ever do." I was a fan of the monarchy, but the idiot that keeps spewing his tripe over and over again. Is rapidly turning me off them. No one cares what you think. You held a regular job in the army, where you made approximately thirty-five thousand dollars per year for about ten years. Since then, you have morphed into this leech that certainly doesn't speak for me or anyone I know. I don't know anyone who is remotely interested in this fool or what he has to say. Go and complete your mission to live a private life and leave us all in peace. Skip to this news. We give you a piece of hot news we just received. The Duchess of Sussex felt unprotected by the institution of the monarchy during false media reports that emerged when she was pregnant. Court documents suggest. The papers come as part of Meghan's legal action against the publisher of the Mail on Sunday, and Mail Online with regards to the publication. Of extracts of a letter she sent to her father Thomas Markle in 2018, Megan is suing Associated Newspapers, which denies the Duchess's claims for copyright infringement and breach of privacy. According to court documents related to the case, as seen by the BBC, Megan suffered tremendous emotional distress over the publication of her letter. The papers state. The claimant had become the subject of a large number of false and damaging articles by the UK tabloid media, 
specifically by the defendant, which caused tremendous emotional distress and damage to her mental health. In reference to interviews that five of the Duchess's friends gave to U.S. Magazine in February 2019, the document added, As her friends had never seen her in the state before, they were rightly concerned for her welfare, specifically as she was pregnant, unprotected by the institution, and prohibited from defending herself. The BBC reports that the papers also reveal that Meghan's legal team defended the cost to the taxpayer of her wedding to the Duke of Sussex in May 2018. The Duchess's lawyers allegedly state that the royal wedding generated 1 billion euros in tourism revenue, thus far outweighing the cost to the taxpayer. A preliminary hearing regarding Meghan's case was held in May, during which the judge dismissed claims that Associated Newspapers deliberately stirred up problems between Meghan and her father and that it had an agenda against her. Justice Warby said those claims should not form part of her case at this stage because they were irrelevant to her claim for damages over alleged misuse of private information, copyright infringement, and the breach of the Data Protection Act. He said, I do not consider that the allegations struck out on that basis go to the heart of the case which at its core concerns the publication of five articles disclosing the words of, and information drawn from, the letter written by claimant to her father in August 2018. Our video duration has ended. We will discuss this news in more depth in the next video. Subscribe to my channel if you are watching this video for the first time. Also, do not forget to like and share it with anyone you want. Now, goodbye and see you in the next videos. The technology era is booming, people are holding hands on smartphones, so Meghan is urging Harry PR for her in order to take Meghan to new heights. Meghan was originally like a toddler in Hollywood, but she herself fantasized that she was a professional actor and wanted to let everyone bow their heads and begged her to teach. Oh my ghost, big laugh.